Hi everybody, I'm, you maybe you can see me, I'm <clears throat> right behind the uh, camera here. I'm gonna film something on my uh, computer that I'm gonna post, but I don't, I don't need to be in it. Uh, I love Phil Collins. My, all the years I spent with him were some of the finest, most exciting, wonderful, crazy times that uh, I've had in my entire career. One of the fun things <laughs> in the 1985 tour that we did was he got into doing band introductions and it took on a life of its own when we were out there. And this is from the concert at the Reunion Arena in Dallas, Texas from 1985 on the No Jacket Required Tour. And this was Phil introducing the band to the audience. And <laughs> when this all started, we were all kind of going, wow, this is, this is a trip. And uh, it just, he just got, funnier every night and, and the thing I loved about Phil so much is he's like one of those guys that just he just wants to have fun when he's out there on stage and he works really hard at it and um, I mean he, t he takes what he does incredibly seriously but he makes it joyous at the same time and uh, so I thought I would just for a lot of people who have never seen this before. I thought it would just be fun to put it up. So this is the band introductions from the No Jacket Required Tour 1985 at Reunion Arena in Dallas, Texas. So here we go. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, it's about that time of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, when I'd like to take it down a little bit here and take this opportunity of introducing to you, Dallas, the fabulous, and I mean that sincerely, fabulous musicians that we've got playing up on stage here tonight. Unfortunately, they couldn't be here. No, 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 I just... So, now I've done this a couple of times, ladies and gentlemen, and I've found that this always goes a little bit better when we get some of that awful Muzak crap that you get in elevators all over the world. You know the kind of thing. You know the kind of thing, Daryl, don't you? Let's hear some of that awful Muzak crap that you get in elevators all over the world. That kind of thing. I think you know what I'm trying to say. I really do. she do be do ba 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 she do be Oh yes, oh no, Dallas, I love you. Absolutely fabulous. Now ladies and gentlemen, I, before I introduce these fabulous musicians, I'd like to inquire, I do hope that you are enjoying the floor show tonight. And that the and that the meal is cooked to your satisfaction and the wine is that je ne sais quoi. Mm -hmm. So nice. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to bring out now a young man that was actually born here in Dallas. Would you welcome, please, returning home to Dallas tonight for the first time for a long time, would you welcome, please, on the saxophone, Mr. Don Myrick. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it. Oh, yes. Oh, Donnie, you've been practicing. Good evening, Donald. Now, you know something's been bothering me all evening, Don, and I, I just got to ask you right now. You know, I, wanna, I want you to give me the right answer, the correct answer, something that you feel from the bottom of your heart. Well, I want to know, are you having a good time tonight, Don? Simply fabulous. Simply fabulous, yeah! Absolutely fabulous. Isn't that absolutely fabulous? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to bring out another young man that was also born here in Dallas. Would you welcome, please, he's returning home tonight for the first time in a long time to visit his sick mother. Would you welcome, please, on the trombone from Dallas, mm -hmm. Mr. Louis Louis Satterfield. <laughs> Woo! He can't hear. Louis. 
Good evening to you. And how are you tonight, Louis? Oh, how do you do to you too? Big Bad Louis, that's what his friends call him. And that's what we call him as well. Now, Louis, <laughs> we've been in Dallas a couple of days now. I want you to tell me, I want you to tell me truthfully and tell the folks out there what, what do you think of Dallas? Dallas is fabulous. Yes, it's fabulous. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, absolutely fabulous. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the third member of this fantastically, fabulously talented foursome, would you welcome, please, on the trumpet, Mr. Michael Harris. Come on down. Woo! Michael Harris, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Now, Michael, it's a very important evening for you tonight, isn't it? Because tonight, you're playing for the car, the television set, the three-piece suite, the luxury set of champagne glasses, the bottle of champagne, the two rubber ducks that go in the bath, and the free ticket back to Los Angeles, California. All, if you answer this question correctly. We're all rooting for him, ladies and gentlemen, aren't we? Oh, yes. Now, take as much time as you want, Michael. Have a good think about it. But tell me something, Michael. Are you having a good time tonight? Simply fabulous. Simply fabulous, yes! Congratulations, Michael. I guess you're going to go back to Los Angeles now, right? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, the fourth member of this fantastically fabulous foursome is a fantastic... He's tall, he's suave, he's charming, he's handsome, he's debonair, he's good-looking, he's talented. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about Mr. Ron Lee Michael Davis. Oh, yes! you're trying to say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, should we go to the back of the stage and see what's happening? Oh, no, I'm not going to go unless you make me, shall we? Yes, come on, let's go to the back. Well, there he is, high at the back, not too high, we hope, perched high on a podium of keyboards, synthesizers, organs, pianos. He's probably one of the biggest pianists I've ever seen in my life. And I've played with some keyboard players in my lifetime, ladies and gentlemen. This man is one of them, but it's very nice to see him back in men's clothes again. Would you welcome, please, on the keyboards, Mr. Peter Robinson. Oh, yeah. I just gotta sing. Well, hello, Dolly. Well, hello. Oh, no. Unforgettable. He is just nuts. Oh, she gets too hungry for dinner at it. 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 She gets too hungry for dinner and it she gets too hung 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 she gets too hungry for dinner and it oh yeah I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen I realize I realise that that was acutely embarrassing for everybody concerned. I do apologise. And now, on with the musicians, another fabulous person here, fabulous musician. Unfortunately, he wasn't born here in Dallas. No, I'm sorry about that. He was actually born in Milwaukee and then moved to Pasadena, California. But you know something? On the way here tonight, he said to me, Phil, Phil, 
I wish I'd been born in Dallas. So, would you welcome, please, the young man that was actually clean shaven when we started doing all these introductions on the bass guitar, Leland Sklar. Let's, uh, let's have lunch, huh? Let's have lunch. I call your service. You got the lunch. Okay, you eat it. I'll be there. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce another fabulous musician now. And I really mean that when I say fabulous. I really mean that most sincerely. He's absolutely king fabulous. Would you welcome, please, a man that was born in Dallas, raised in Dallas, educated in Dallas, and in fact, he even died here in Dallas. Would you welcome, please, off the guitar, Mr. Fabulous himself, Daryl Stanner. What's the matter, Daryl? Whoa. No, he doesn't like crowds, you see. We have this every night. He doesn't like lots of people together. But, but they're your friends, Daryl. And you like him, don't you? Yes, you see, Daryl? You do like him, don't you? Yes, you see, they like you, Daryl. Tell him again, you do, you do like him. Yeah. Yeah, and I like you too, you know? I really do like you because I get misty whenever you go away. <laughs> so stay here in my heart. Oh, it's lovely to end on a sentimental note like that, isn't it? Well, that's all the musicians, ladies and gentlemen, so let's get on with some more music. What's the matter? Oh dear, is that the time already? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It would appear that time has run out on us tonight. I'm afraid we've only got time for about 30 or 40 more songs yet. Here's the place to be more time. That's it. <laughs> Jeez. I used to be oh, uh, so much more open minded. Oops. And I'd always say, that now I'm back in Lyle land. <laughs> Amazing. Um, Phil would do that every night. I mean, it got, you know, it started, you know, kind of quick and easy. And then it just turned into this, <laughs> this uh, incredible moment uh, on stage. It was really funny. You know, watching it's hard because Don Myrick and Louis Satterfield uh, are no longer with us again, you know, and uh, it's great to see them uh, up there. We had so much fun out there. And that, that really, the vibe of that whole thing was really the vibe of the tour. I mean, when we really got into the songs, I mean, everybody was dead serious, but it was just so much fun playing. That was, he suddenly went from, you know, kind of, you know, known as a drummer for, you know, Genesis to, to suddenly, you know, being a, a superstar arena stadium tour guy. So it was a, it was an adventure for everybody to be involved. So, okay, you take good care. Um, I'm going to get running here and uh, I will talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. Off to Lyle now. Bye-bye. <laughs>